Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. As you may have known, Season 6 went live nearly 24 hours ago, and I'm super excited. <laughs> they introduced the new Legend Rampart, they made so many changes in the, like, coming from the dev stream and the patch notes, and like, it's, it, the whole game is being changed. <laughs> oh my goodness, especially with the Season 6 story. That's one thing I was very fond of, uh, let's hit Quest. It's it's more like a comic now. Now you could really look at the art style drawn here, re um, representing all the legends, and I guess how they live life together, living life together, and playing in the Apex games. You know, you see each other, as you play Apex, you see them killing each other and stuff and such like that, and then. This is like <laughs> something you'd find in a manga, right? Just all the characters together in one episode or a comic, talking, having conversations. Reminds me of like the fan art people used to make, what people make for Apex Legends and things like that. It's really, really hits deep. This is way better compared to last season. That's because hunting the animals. I forgot their names, the Predators. Yeah, hunting the Predators were kind of repetitive, I'd say. Um, this one thing I found out, even though I had some sort of a lot of fun. Uh, through the dev stream, they changed, I think they're changing the whole meta. I don't really know what is gonna happen next, actually. With the introduction of the new Volt weapon and making the R99 a legendary weapon found in loot drops it's pretty interesting especially since they brought this thing baby from Titanfall 2 like dude it's it's, it's epic they also changed the yeah precision choke thing it's no longer found on the floor it's automatically in the triple take and the peacekeeper but the peacekeeper is not gonna be on the floor don't worry about that Wow Especially the reworks with the recon characters. They can all scan the drone, the, the survey beacon that shows their positions on the map. And, you know, each time Pathfinder does it, it reduces its ultimate recharge time. So that's definitely, like, they're, they're fixing things. What I don't like the most is Octane. You know, that buff was pretty, pretty much useless. You could heal and stim at the same time without losing any health, I think. And... Hey, if you're in the line of fire, you're still gonna die. So, eh, I don't know. I like. I don't want to shit on the devs because I feel like they've done they've done a lot of things in season six. But I I feel like they are struggling when it comes to coming up coming up with an idea of a buff for Octane trying to make it in a way where he's not that powerful but also powerful enough that's like compared to the other legends <laughs> compared to the other legends his feels kind of kind of useless buff but nah. hey i'll take what i can get uh, octane's my favorite character so uh, it's not too bad it's not too bad <laughs> i haven't even tested out <laughs> season six yet uh, i did play one round but that was fucked, you know, hot drops with randoms. Might play with friends tomorrow. So, you're gonna expect more from me soon. That being said, see you guys. Stay safe. Man, wash your hands. Wear a mask wherever you go. And hey, you can make friends with someone if you just squirt a little hand sanitizer on their hands.